Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today we are doing the No Man's Sky Foundations Updates Video Overlook. Now this is just taking a look at the building and the items you get so you can, you know what you're playing with. But building within this game is on um, predetermined locations. Now you can build certain items in the out in the bout. Um, auto miners, things of this nature, you can do that too. But as far as that goes, you need to find a building like this, go up to that, claim the entire base, and the base you have a predetermined area. So that's a big thing to note. You can see the highlighted area out there for the predetermined area. Now, as far as that goes, I believe all the technology stuff, you can um, go ahead and and put outside it pretty much anywhere but as you see here the uh, actual building stuff you cannot put out there so say, say for example if I want to put a launch pad out and about in the wild it won't let me because it's outside the base range but say if it, I want to put one of these communicator things out there then it will let me so that's just something I note. So as far as things goes, let's take a look at the lights to start things off. And we have all the lights as seen there. And you can see the cost of it on the right side. Now let's take a look at some decals. Um, and we're going to jump around, but it's um, spare thing. So we have some decals right here that we have that a line the atlas and then zero through nine and I've just redone that so that's just something to note now as far as here uh, the farming just mention that real quick you need a hydroponic tray and you need plants uh, the plants being provided so you just stick them in there it's good to go um, like, like out in the wild, the plants, they're reusable and what, and as you see here, this is what everything gets you. So there you go, that. So now let's go into the infrastructure. So going up to infrastructure, let's start with the garage door. If you see here, we got a simple garage door, a ball, uh, just a ball cube, cylinder, a uh, platform. It's just that platform right there. It's nothing more, as you see there. The um, C cylinder, small cylinder, a wall, floor, and a box thing. So, next things next is let's take a look at the building material. So, what we have here is a foundation. You don't need foundations to build on, it's just for looks. Um, one thing I want to note real quick is the physics is off on this game so if we take a look at this and um, go down to the Q building Let's go ahead and put that so if we go ahead and erase those you know that should fall well Obviously, it does in this game. You get floating rocks and whatnot. So, foundations does nothing. It's just for looks. I, I, I wish that wasn't the fact. So, you can put the actual cylinder thing on the foundation. The inside of it, it looks like the following. So, we have the cylinder. And we have the walkways. 
for example here we have our this one we have a T which is what we're looking at a um, a uh, no, uh, lowercase t, whatever you want to call it, and a full glass one. Take a look at the cube. Try to put some light on. So the cubes are interesting. We can do cube buildings as seen here. The interesting thing is we can go too high or, or as many high as we want. We have windows, so as you see here, we got our first window, second window, and our full window. We also have foundations. And as seen here with the left, we have the first foundation and the right with the second foundation. Now the interesting thing is is um, if we wanted to you could hear it going in spots even though it does nothing absolutely nothing the uh, you can actually put a foundation there if you want so as far as that goes uh, one, one thing I want to note is there is no stairs so if you want to have a second story going something like that so like a stairs at this time there's no way for that to happen but you can connect a um, as I'll, I'll show right around here you can connect a um, circle with the square so I'll show you how to do that so it's a trick I found when I was playing around um, I might as well get into the next section which is the doors and stuff so what we have here is a door it's only one type of door the ramp we can put a ramp there so as you see here it's normal what it looks like put a ramp here you don't need a ramp we have trading terminal right there ladder which we're going to definitely use in a second and a window as seen there let's put it in a better spot as seen there so going up the ladder this is a problem with um, this um, particular building is I can't figure out what floor I'm on and it's super super easy to fall down so right here what we have is we want the cube to open up here so what we want to do is put a door here and as you see here if we put the door here we uh, have full access walk away far enough it'll close itself but there you go there is no actual gap it's just um, how it is um, but anyway, so that's a quick, easy way if you want to have a door, a, a cube next to a circle, you can easily do that, and it allows you to expand pretty far in, in what you're doing. So as far as that goes, <coughs> let's go to the um, stations. Since we're already in this building, try to find it. So we have specialist terminals. So what we have here, going all the way to the bottom, is the building one, I believe. And, and by the way, how this works in the normal gameplay, if you want to play creative, you don't need it. But in normal gameplay, you're going to need uh, what's called a specialist terminal. What would end up happening is you'll plop a specialist terminal down. You will go to a station or a trading area, hire uh, the proper person to sit at the terminal. You can switch them out. It's free. It's free to add them. It's free to recruit them. All that stuff. But um, as far as that goes, the person you will have to do missions for him to um, get something. So, for example, with the builder, in order to pretty much build 90% of 
what you're going to get, which I'm going to show in the next video. Um, up to a point, you will need to do missions. These missions are literally one of two things. One, go out to a given location and activate a blueprint or maybe activate a stone or something like that. Two, and this is pretty important because this is 90% of the missions, go out so somewhere and get me something and bring it back and uh, a set amount of that something that's it so it gets very old very fast and I didn't even fully complete it because the fact is is it, it's just pure grinding for the sake of grinding at that point so as far as that goes we have the f first terminal we have the weapons let me go ahead and close that out we have the weapons terminal. We have the agriculture farming terminal. And we have the science terminal. When you first get on the first floor is a builder's terminal, they will help you out get to the point, get science terminal. From there, you'll get a weapons and agriculture terminal. Um, it's pretty simple. And um, you, again, you just have to go back and forth doing missions. It's 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 gets old very very fast. So as far as that goes, um, let's go and I don't think I got any decorations up here. Let's go and take a look at the decorations. Uh, start with the this one that's hanging since we're already in here. So right here we have that and basically it's just a hanging display. It doesn't do anything. So let's go and find this one. So what we have is this wall right here, wall guns. It's just for looks. We have that plot uh, plant thing, all these are just products. That's that. That table thing. That thing. That ring thing. The thing that was back there, but the thing on the floor there. A uh, file cabinet thing. Or server thing next to the file cabinet thing. One of those things. One of these things. And you can't really do anything with those. Maybe other players can. We got different flags. So as you see there and let's go over here. We have these few different chairs. That table. We have this table. When you walk far away from it, that goes down. When you get closer, that goes up. The uh, this thing, I don't know what it is. It, you can put it on walls and stuff. I I, I don't know what it is. This obviously goes on the table. Um, this fan. This clover thing. This box thing. Bed and a desk. So that's uh, fairly simple with that. Um, let's go in and check out the tech stuff. So right now we have a beacon and basically this will act as a beacon so you can be very far away and see that little icon up there. Um, I don't know if other players can see it or not. So I honestly this game's not that good for that. We have a a save point. So I see here. And we can go up to it and save. We have a signal boost. And basically all that is is like the other. So if I want to find that.
So we have that. And, and it will go back down and you can you can do that as much as you want. So you, you can even find other home base. That's what's going to be called hab hab habitable base. So we can see that there's an air one over there. We have a landing pad. As you see here, the NPCs are loving it. We have a communication station. And what this is, is it um, allows you to say. whatever you want now one thing I want I want to note is I had that out and it blew up outside of my base before on an air save so keep that in mind and you can't change the text on there so if you mess up then there, that's that you're just going to have to rebuild it so that's that's the thing to note Let's go and um, show you how the teleporter works if I can. But you'll need to go to this end and do this. Give it a few seconds. It's really annoying. So just back away and we're going to go to the station. And as far as I can tell, I don't think you can... Um, put a teleporter somewhere all right so you go to this door side door over here and you would simply do that it would be connected you click that And as you see there, there you go. Normally, your ship, right there it is. Normally your ship is near where you're at. So note that. And let's hire someone real quick before we get a freighter. And as you see here, your ship's there. So, what you would do is just interact with them. You'll hire them. And that's simple. And that will show up down there. Now let's go and go for our freighter. So, as you've seen in the trailer, you have this area. There's not really much to look at on outside of the freighter. I'll show you what it looks like before we head off to the planet. But, um,. Just like the station, you just dock into it. And I bought this one. Again, I thought I was recording, but the thing messed up. So, you got three bays that you can dock at. And they have even three docking areas on each bay. But if we go up here, and note that this goes on that side of the bay up these stairs and again that goes on that side of the bay it goes on that side if we 
go up here and right here we can see that if we head up this way we can actually purchase this I think it was like seven million credits you have to talk to that person all the way over there so right here you have to talk to him I already purchased it so it's not gonna let me obviously repurchase it but each person on here each AI they actually um, speak your language and uh, they have 17 slots in this freighter which is kind of weird because in fact let's uh, go ahead and transfer things just uh, take a look at it so yeah you got 17 slots in this freighter but I got 48 slots in this tiny ship that fits inside my freighter tell me how this is logical let's go ahead and just exit out of that I wonder if I can get into that anytime yeah so I don't even need to go to him I just go to that all right so what we want to do oops 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 go up here and run all the way across and you will gain access to this back area once you buy the freighter so from here we can buy we can build you press Z to start building use the arrow keys on a piece I don't know what it's gonna be like on consoles but use the arrow keys up and down gets you different item types left and right switches the item in that type now you need a terminal for um construction terminal for one type they hire i don't know what it does i haven't made it that far i know there's a science terminal and a few other things um as you can see here it all takes iron so it's relatively easy so let's go ahead and um exit out of that and this thing over here, let I, I guess it lets you transfer things from planet to here. So, um, there's not much you can see here, so let's head back out. I could turn around here pretty easily. So from here, let's uh, go ahead and jump all the way down. Let's check out the outside. So as you see here, let's take a up view and a down view. So the up view looks like that. And the bomb looks like it's up. So as far as mining this is what the mining drones look like so let's take a look and find a good spot for it as you see here it's very forces you to pick exact spots so as far as that goes uh, if you got any questions or anything else then please feel free to let me know in the comment section I'll try and answer as quickly as possible Leave a like, subscribe, share, and uh, if you want me to cover any of this in detail, then please feel free to let me know, and I'll try to do that as quickly as possible. Again, leave a like, subscribe, share, and check out my main channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day.